Breaking news, Nigerians. Bamidele has validated our claims on Tinibu's forfeiture of $460,000 in the U.S. Hello, my country people. Welcome back to Spice Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The People's Democratic Party has said that uh, with the testimony of the Senate Majority Leader, Senator Opeyemi Bamidele, at the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal, was a validation of its claims that the $460,000 forfeited by President Tinibu was connected to a drug trafficking case. And recall that Senator Bamidele had last Wednesday said that the All Progressive Congress APC witness in chief that President Tinibu did not face any criminal charges in the U.S. court. And then the Senate Majority Leader insisted that the forfeiture order against the President by the American courts for $460,000 did not in any way replace criminal charges because it related to a civil problem. And then I had to laugh. I mean, Bamidele talking about Tinibu making a forfeiture worth $460,000 uh, and you said that it wasn't for a criminal offense. Then what offense did Tinibu commit that warranted you know, him making a forfeiture of that huge amount of money? Had it been it was a civil offense, then Tinibu would have, you know, found a way to sort it out, but he never wanted to be convicted. He never wanted to be put behind bars. He never wanted to be dragged to court by that issue. That's why he just had to quietly make that forfeiture. But he never knew he would be running for the presidency in this country. Had it been he knew then, he wouldn't have even engaged in that activities because currently they are using those things against him at the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal. When uh, Alaji Atiku Abubakar said that Tinibu, who is a criminal, who is an Pablo Escobar, cannot in any way become the president, someone that is known to be involved in drug trafficking of narcotics and other hard, hard drugs, uh, it is not possible that we can't have a drug dealer and a Boko Haram leader to be our president and vice president, respectively. But then the APC lawmakers had also claimed that Tinibu was not found guilty and was not given any punishment. But in a statement over the weekend, the PDP said Bamidele's testimony further confirms before the presidential election petition court that Tinibu really forfeited the sum of $460,000, which he earned from the trafficking of drugs and narcotics in the U.S., now, the party added that Bamidele could not defend the figures declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as the result of the 2023 presidential election in Kano State because he was not in the state and also was not at the collation center at the day of the election. The statement reads, The testimony of Opeyemi Bamidele one of the star witness of the APC presidential candidate, Bola Admet Tinibu, further confirms before the presidential election petition tribunal that Tinibu of the APC really did make a forfeiture of the sum of about 460,000 US dollars, which he earned from trafficking of drugs, narcotics in the United States of America, USA and did not even disclose same to INEC in his nomination form. Although Bamidele in his defense before the Lord Justice optioned that the, uh, the $460,000 for future was civil and not a criminal act, but then he couldn't defend the figures declared by INEC as a result of the 2023 presidential election in Kano State because he was not in the state and was not also at the collation center on the day of the election. Bolad Metinibu of the APC only made 19% in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, 
and did not even score up to 25% as stimulated by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But then Bola Ahmed Tinibu of the All Progressive Congress could only make 19.5% in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. But then he couldn't even score up to 25% as speculated by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the 1999, as amended. Then two presidents before the fraudulent announcement of Bola Tinibu, as the president made uh, 25% in Abuja, and Tinibu is the first to be wrongly declared without getting the speculated 25% in Abuja. The PDP said that with the weighty evidence before the court, Nigerians and the world expect the judiciary to redeem itself by doing the needful and declare its candidate Atiku Abubakar as the rightful winner of the election. And according to him, the main opposition party, the judiciary, has a lot of duty to ensure that justice is served since the future of Nigeria is on stake and the future of Nigeria really depends on it. So at this point, the judiciary is to uphold the truth, is to say nothing but the truth. But then they really hope that the judiciary wouldn't be compromised by the All Progressive Congress, by Tinibu, by any other political parties. Let them just stand for the truth. But unfortunately for Senator Opeyemi uh, Bamidele, when he made that uh, statement known uh, at the Presidential uh, Election Petition Tribunal, uh, he said, well, Tinibu made a forfeiture. That means, you know, the PDP are actually correct because they were the ones that brought about these forfeiture allegations in the first place during the elections. They made it known. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this issue? Senator Bamidele was being led by one of the lead counsel of the All Progressive Congress and also the People's Democratic Party when they were at court when he made this declaration that uh, Tinibu really did made, uh, make a forfeiture of uh, 460,000 uh, US dollars for narcotics dealing and money laundering in the United States. So he has admitted that yes, yes, Tinibu has been involved in drug trafficking. Like the All Progressive Congress, they have, you know, once in a while dismissed those facts. I'm dropping here, guys. What are your thoughts on this? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.